I just realized I wasn't recording camera one. Fantastic, Brandon. Fantastic. Welcome back to Rewind with Beach Witty because I find your lack of faith disturbing. Today is National Chocolate Custard Day. I don't, I don't, I, it's a thing. But after having frozen custard at Culver's in the last month, I'm sold. I love chocolate custard. I am in. I don't, I don't know why we don't have Culver's everywhere across America and why I had to search high and low to find frozen chocolate custard anywhere nearby me. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to make custard from scratch. <laughs> Do you remember the fish fingers and custard pairing? Yeah, that that was a mix and also jello. So what I did find was this Mammoth Creamery's chocolate frozen custard, which is apparently keto. Yeah, who knew? Well, probably keto people and low carb people, but I've not tried this yet. I, I went to my local Whole Foods to find this. And uh, this is not a plug for Amazon by any means, but it was the first time I used my, my little appy to get an extra discount at a store. It was weird. It's a weird experience. What's, why, why do you make us do that, Amazon? So my idea today is that we will be trying out this chocolate custard, frozen chocolate custard, and uh, seeing which of these three wines that uh, I've randomly picked will pair best. We have a Grenache, a Zinfandel, and a Tanat. Tanat's our dark horse. Um, to pair, uh, I think these will all go well, but let's see which one is the best. Let's get started. Some people think this is just an excuse for me to eat chocolate custard and drink wine. And what I say to those people is you're absolutely correct. All right, if you're new to this whole tasting protocol, what you do is you take a sip of wine, bite of whatever you're having, and another sip of wine. Let's get started. That, that is fantastic. <laughs> Chocolate and Grenache, that is always a good pairing. The tannic elements of the chocolate, the the cacao, the, the bitterness of the chocolate really starts to play off of the lighter side of uh, Grenache, which is interesting. And it really amplifies that chocolatey, dark chocolate flavor um, that is both from the, the wine and the custard itself. Also, Ford, you just taste some of that red fruit off the Grenache, which is a nice precursor to then just chocolate overload. Uh, and again, that's not a bad thing. I'm giving this, I mean, there's nowhere to go but up, so I guess I have to give this, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. I'll give it a five if this is last. Um, we're gonna have to go down, we get heavier as we go down. So that's why I did Grenache first, but Grenache is most likely going to be the winner. Let's try some Zinfandel next. Cheers. Not as good as the Grenache. The, the Zinfandel, uh, this Zinfandel seems to be fruitier than the Grenache, um, but it doesn't really amplify any of that chocolate qualities. I don't think there's any chocolate notes in this Zin. And um, together it makes more of like a milk chocolate candy bar. If you dipped it in jam, I guess, would be the best description of what it was. So while it elevates and it's palatable, not as good as the first one and not like super amazing. You have to try it. So I'm going to give this a 3.5. Move on to our last contestant to not. Let's do the not, shall we? Ooh. All right. 
I like where I was going. Ooh. 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 So Tanat it was our dark horse candidate. Um, but what we know about Tanat is that it is heavy on the tannins, which I thought would be like a good cab replacement for our tasting here. And the tannins, again, play off of the, the chocolate notes and transform it into a dark chocolate flavor on the palate. But what this Tanat didn't bring to the table was any fruit notes to, to counterbalance that heavy chocolate note. I don't know if that's a failing, but while good, and I recommend trying if you have Tanat and not Grenache, um, I'm only going to give it a 4. I would have given it a 4.5, but the Grenache is at 4.5. Yes, Grenache is the way to go. So if you're going to celebrate National Chocolate Custard Day with some Mammoth Creamery's Chocolate Custard, or, you know, get Culver's if you can, because that stuff is good. Or even any other chocolate custard. It doesn't have to be frozen. Find yourself some Grenache and pair it with that. Keto-friendly, one gram of sugar might be worth uh, looking into if you're into that sort of thing. You know how you're going to celebrate National Chocolate Custard Day, or if you're going to try any of these pairings in the future. Remember, you can find me on YouTube by going to rewindshow.com, which will take you to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're there. And while you're watching this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, uh, throw a comment on there, and make sure you smash the bell icon to get notified when new episodes come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Remember, you can also find me over on Instagram by going to at Rewind Show, where we upload 10 minute versions of the episodes to IGTV. You also find me on Twitter by going to at Beeshwitty. This has been Rewind. My name is Beeshwitty, and I will catch you next time.